Hi, Shelly with Shelly Charlotte Hair, and I had another question about when to use protein versus conditioner in your hair, or should you use them both at the same time? How often should you use a protein treatment? How often should you get a conditioning treatment? So to answer some of those questions, I want to first start by saying when you condition your hair, your conditioner is going to do whatever it's going to do to your hair in 10 minutes. So if you leave it in for that 10 minutes when you're in the shower, maybe shave your legs or whatever, then that's all the conditioning your hair is going to absorb. It's not necessary to put a leave-in conditioner and leave it in overnight. That just is takes a lot of extra time and it's unnecessary. I also am not a huge fan of expensive conditioning treatments in the salon. I don't offer them in my salon. And the reason for that is because when you condition your hair, even with deep conditioners, it washes out the next time you wash your hair. So that's kind of an expensive Sometimes I've seen them charge as much as $50 for those treatments, and that's something you can really do yourself at home. Now, if you just like the bougie luxury of it, more power to you. I enjoy some of those services myself as well. So, but the other thing is the same thing about the protein treatment. So, um, you know, I'll talk about the protein treatment in just a sec. So let's talk about why would you use protein versus conditioner? And this is one of those uh, issues that's such an easy fix. So when you, sometimes clients think their hair is dry. I've, I hear this in the salon a lot. They're like, my hair is really dry. I use a good conditioner. I use quite a couple conditioners and it still feels tangled and matted a little bit. Well, those are two terms, tangled and matted and kind of like horse hair. When you get your hair wet, when it's wet and you're getting, getting it wet to wash it and it feels like that, that is typically an indicator that you need a protein treatment and no amount of conditioner is going to change that. They're two totally different things. So um, I actually do a protein and conditioning treatments <laughs> in my salon for every hair care service and it's included in the service. And the product I like to use for the protein is this, uh, it's a keratin treatment and keratin is also protein. So when you're looking at your products at home, remember that keratin. Anyway, this is in keratin intensive treatment. Um, smells really good, but it also comes in a conditioner carrier. So it has protein in it, looks like conditioner, but this isn't something you want to use every day. And I'll explain that in a minute. So when your hair feels like that, um, just use the keratin treatment as your conditioner that day and you will be so surprised at how different your hair feels. Now the people who are most likely to need a, a keratin treatment or keratin protein treatment um, and this is a keratin treatment, not a straightening keratin straightening system. That's something completely different. Um, but with this, uh, you don't want to overuse it. So when you, like what I just explained, when you use conditioner, um, the next time you wash your hair, it washes out. But that's not the case with protein. With protein, it stick, protein sticks to protein and your hair is made up of protein. And so when you use that, it will stay nice for a couple of washing, washings. And everyone's different. It depends on how badly um, your protein deficiency is. If it feels like it two or three washes in a row, go ahead and continue using this. But if it continues to feel like that, you might be overusing it because like I said, protein sticks to protein. And if you continue using this over and over, it'll start to build up your nails are made of keratin too and you know how they're a little bit harder that same concept will start to happen on your hair and it can make your hair brittle and actually break it off so but like i started to mention the people who are the um, most likely candidates for needing a protein treatment are those of you with blonde hair that's been bleached uh heavily bleached and done so without a rebonding um ingredient put into your bleach lightener when they did your hair. Sometimes people who do their own hair, it can kind of get like that as well. So no worries though, um, those protein treatments really change the way your hair feels and it's, it's an easy, easy fix.
So I do want to show like as far as conditioners go, the conditioners that I do use um, in the salon and I do use quite a few conditioners. I use them on myself. I use them on my clients. This is what every client that comes in gets at the bowl. I use this as my main conditioner. It's a relatively new brand. It's called Gloss Me. And what I like about this is it makes hair super shiny. And the reason is it has dimethicone in it, which is kind of like a liquid plasticizer, which is awesome for on your hair. Um, people are like, oh, that's not very good for you. Well, don't eat it. Just put it on your hair and it does make your hair shiny. That's why my hair is shiny because I use this. While I'm in the shower also at the shampoo bowl, I'll put a squirt of this, which is lavender mint moisturizing conditioner by Paul Mitchell. And then I also put the protein treatment at the bowl, all three squirts of all of this when I do everyone's hair. So um, everyone could use a little bit of a protein treatment. But anyway, this is um, smells really good and it's also a nice, nice product. When I get out of the sh shower, also another tip for like keeping moisture in your hair is when you go to rinse out your conditioner, don't rinse it all the way out. Just get, um, just rinse it a little bit, but don't try to like remove all of the conditioner. That kind of defeats the point of conditioner is you need some of that like lotion for your hair. So when I get out, I, even for my clients, before I cut them, before I cut their hair, they get the lavender mint leave-in conditioner, which I spray on their hair. It makes it nice and smooth, it smells really good. And then I also use Loma um, right after that, before I comb it out. And this is, um, I wouldn't say this is necessarily a conditioning treatment. It comes out like this. It's a serum. It kind of looks like oil, but it's not. It's a very lightweight um, uh, serum, but it hold when you put it in your hair, if you can see, it kind of like, it sh makes it shiny as well, but it also, it will smooth down your cuticle. And so that's what that does. I love my new haircut. And then lastly, this is another product. This is a styling product, but it's also very moisturizing um, for hair. And I use, I use this before I blow um, dry people's hair, especially if they want to wear it straight. This is also a good product to use on curly hair if you're going to diffuse your hair or just let it dry naturally and you don't want it to be really frizzy. Moisture is the key to that. Curly girls really struggle with dry hair and um, by using all of these products here, it can really help their hair not look frizzy and they can enjoy their pretty little soft, smooth curls. So. I hope that answers your question. I do use all those products on my clients um, when they come in, um, every client. Um, and then everyone, of course, gets a protein treatment when they come in as well, right at the bowl. And it's amazing how it keeps their hair looking and feeling super healthy. So um, one last thing I did want to mention is living in Arizona, which is where I'm from, we have really hard water. There's a lot of calcium in our water. And if you ever like use regular tap water, say in a pan to boil eggs or to make a cup of tea or something, you can see the um, the how it's white around there. And that is really hard, gritty. In fact, sometimes it's really hard to clean off of your sink. Well, we wash our hair with that. And so that is kind of like scraping. It can scrape away at your hair and um, it can cause damage to your protein, you know, the protein that makes up your hair, which is the outer cuticle of it. And so even just washing your hair, coloring your hair, um, everyone can use a protein treatment once in a while. Oh, I know one last thing I did want to mention. <clears throat> is if you use protein on your hair and it continues to feel matted and tangly when you wash it, you may be overusing it. Bizarrely enough, too much protein feels just like not enough protein. So you may wanna check some of your daily use products and make sure they don't have a protein ingredient or a keratin ingredient. There, I had that happen to a client that came in and she had mat, her hair felt really matted at the bowl, kind of, it felt like kind of horse hair, really coarse, it can hardly, like, you can hardly rub it between your fingers. And so I did a protein treatment on her and it still felt matted. So I asked her if she had any products at home that might have protein treatment. And sure enough, It's a 10 makes a daily um, leave-in conditioner that has protein in it. And she was using that. So in that, 
case, you just need to discontinue using protein altogether and let it wash out. And eventually it will relax a little. She may not have even needed a protein treatment in the first place, but one protein treatment a month won't hurt anybody. But if you use it every day, it will start to build up and again, can make it brittle just like we were talking about earlier. So anyway, that's my talk about conditioners and protein treatments, when to use them, how to use them, why you shouldn't pay for expensive treatments in the salon. Um, and I hope that answers your questions. I really am enjoying doing these informative little videos. I hope you guys are enjoying them too.